My third mark making tool is going to use this bubble wrap and I'm going to just get really rough with this and just see what a random movement like this is going to create. I'm going to just scrunch this material. I'm not looking to create something that represents a paintbrush or anything like that. I'm using this plastic material and we're just going to see what happens. So now that I've roughly scrunched it and I can have an idea of how that material behaves, I can just get myself some sellotape and cut off a few strips and just have them on my desk ready to apply as I'm scrunching. So let's just cut off some loose strips there. Go back to scrunching, right? I quite like that form there, so let's tape that in place. There we go. Let's group this bit round here. That's looking interesting. I feel like I'm getting both a combination of those rough edges with the actual bubbles themselves. And I think that's going to be really interesting. I'll just secure it underneath as well. And there we go. So really, really simple one there. You could use a similar technique when it comes to foil uh, or other sort of plastic packaging. And then we can use this as a mark making tool.